In this video, we will go over how you can take certain criteria that the FortiGate firewall will be seeing and then actually take automated action and, and change the VLAN ID that's associated on a switch port with a 40 switch. And, and this all uses 40 link. And I've also linked a video explaining the 40 gate and 40 switch integration via 40 link as well, if you need a refresher on that. Okay, for the configuration, you'd go to Wi-Fi and switch controller NAC policies. So when you first access this, this uh, page, you'll probably notice that it's gonna request you to specify an onboarding VLAN. Really, that's just going to be a VLAN that a port is going to be associated with until it matches you know, one of your NAC rules that we haven't created yet. So in my case, I used what was just one of the default uh, VLANs that was associated on this firewall, uh, VLAN ID 4089. You can really do, you know, do it however you like. All right, so as the next step, let's go to the 40 switch ports and then let's configure a port. So in this case, let's use port 10. Let's change it from its default mode of static and let's change it to NAC. So now that it's NAC, what it's going to do is as soon as a device gets connected, first, based on this configuration, it's going to be placed in the onboarding VLAN. In a moment, we're going to start adding some, some rules here. But before we do that, let's just go on to a device and see what it looks like when we connect it to port 10. OK, there we go. So here's our device that's connected to port 10. It's on the 192.168.200 network. It has no internet access, which I actually want in this case. And then if we go back to the 48 to see where that configuration resides, it resides on um, that onboarding VLAN. So everything's working as expected. It, it obtains a DHCP address and there's no policy configured, so there is no internet access. So as a next step now, let's go and actually let's start creating a NAC policy. Oh, and one more thing before we do, let's get the MAC address. So we'll go to 40 switch ports, uh, port 10. Let's hover over and let's get the MAC address that's associated to that device right now. So what we're going to say is we'll say, okay, anybody that connects to the network with, uh, we'll just type it, you know, MAC underscore test as the name, anybody that connects with the following MAC address. And we can use various different options, hardware vendor, device family. We could use different patterns entirely, like user matching, um, EMS tag matching with, with a 40 client EMS integration. But for now, just to show the concept, let's use a MAC address match. And then we're going to say that we will assign the production VLAN if somebody matches this MAC address. Okay, so let's configure that. And it does seem like as soon as you create a NAC policy, it actually matches the device immediately. So the fact that it's showing that we have that matched device already tells me that it's actually going to have the switched VLAN, the switched VLAN already, right? Yeah, exactly. The assigned VLAN is the production VLAN. So if we do just a quick release and a renew on that DHCP interface for the connected device. I suppose if you just disconnected the ethernet cable, plugged it back in, it would do this for you automatically too. But that's kind of the cool thing here is that, you know, automatically that MAC address um, has been, you know, discovered by the 40 switch and 40 gate combination. It's changed the VLAN. So it, we actually have access to the production VLAN and now we can match the policies associated with uh, a different VLAN. All right, let's take another scenario. So I've connected a, you know, an Ubuntu machine up to that same port, port 10 on the 40 switch. When I run an IF config, as expected, because it didn't match that, that MAC address policy that we've created, it just gets added to the onboarding VLAN, same as before, there's no access, right? So if we look at the FortiGate, you know, the FortiGate does a lot of device um, inventory, right? So, you know, if you add a widget, if you don't already have it, you would add a widget, add the device inventory widget, and then as you can see here, the, the FortiGate can actually identify the traffic flowing through it to see that, oh, okay, that's actually an Ubuntu machine uh, using you know, Linux as the software oper operating system. And the way that it was actually able to identify that device is that under the network interface for the onboarding VLAN, which is the first VLAN that you know, the, um, the machine is gonna be associated with, there is this device detection feature. So going back to that dashboard for just a second here, we can see again that the, the operating system is Linux. That's the software OS. So let's make another rule now. And we will just go 40, you know, the, the NAC policies. Let's just type in Linux, right? So the, you know, the operating system 
I'll just type in Linux here. Same ideas, let's assign that same VLAN, production VLAN. Okay, and then this time I'm gonna actually disconnect the cable. All right, and after reconnect, we can see that the match device for that Ubuntu machine, the match NAC policy has been seen here and the production VLAN is assigned. Back to that device again, we can see it's on the production VLAN, 192.168.111.10, and then we can access the internet. All right, hopefully this video was of value to you. This is definitely not something like a full-blown uh, NAC solution, but hey, at the end of the day, we need to have firewalls, we need to have switches. If they're communicating together and we can gain some basic NAC functionality, uh, depending on your use case, why not try it out? So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.